Hello and welcome to this video about ST's Blue Energy Mesh software package. We will show you how to connect, monitor and control smart home appliances. The Blue Energy Mesh is designed around the Blue Energy product family, part of our low power RF portfolio, which has been designed to meet the challenging requirements of wireless connectivity for the Internet of Things making it suitable for smart building, home automation, and smart industry. Let's start by describing how wireless mesh network works. In a point-to-point -point or star network, the signal range depends on the RF output power. To guarantee a sufficient lifetime or to increase energy efficiency of battery-powered devices, we have to reduce power consumption and therefore the RF output power. This is different from a mesh network where each device transmits at a shorter distance to reduce its power consumption. Here, the network coverage and the communication range are extended by relaying messages over multiple nodes and multiple hooks. You can download Blue Energy Mesh software package from st.com slash blemesh. After logging in, click the Get Software button. Once downloaded, you just have to unzip the package into your preferred PC folder and install it. The Blue Energy Mesh software package contains Android and iOS software compatible with Android Studio and Xcode toolchains to create your own app. It also contains a firmware package to create your own mesh network. This is compatible with both of our BLE systems on chip, known as Blue Energy 1 and Blue Energy 2, and the STM32 open development environment built around the Blue Energy MS network processor. This video will highlight how simple it is to create your own mesh network using a pre-built lighting demo for the Blue Energy 2 device. This code is available at this link. The pre-built app for Android smartphone can be downloaded from Google Play. Browse for Blue Energy Mesh, click Install, and wait for the process to end. Your smartphone is now ready. Let's move on to the firmware setup. Attach a micro USB cable between the BLE evaluation board and your PC. Once the drivers are installed and the PC is able to enumerate the board, Drag the Blue Energy 2 lighting demo.bin file onto the disk drive. Once the file is copied, the board will be ready for use. Repeat this step for all the boards you want to add to the mesh network. Now turn on the Bluetooth of your smartphone. Open the Blue Energy Mesh app on your smartphone. At first, it will display the default nodes view, which lists all provision nodes. Click the Devices tab to view the unprovisioned devices and refresh it by swiping down. Here, three devices are found. Now click on the plus icon to start provisioning for a specific device. A progress bar will display the status during this task. At the end of provisioning stage, click the Add Configuration button at the bottom of the screen to exit the configuration view and you will see that a new node will automatically appear. Then click the Devices tab to come back to the list of unprovisioned devices and repeat this step for all the nodes that you want to add. Unicast commands are sent from the Nodes view. To turn on off the LED, tap the toggle switch and the specific node will receive the command. So that's it for the single node sections. Now click on the Groups tab to move to the Groups section. The Groups view allows you to define a so-called group using a subset of BLE provision nodes. Typical groups usually contain all nodes from the same environment, like the kitchen or living room, including appliances, lamps and sensors. The app already offers a default group called Default, and all provision nodes are part of this group by default. For this video training, we will create a custom group. 
Click on the plus icon in the top right corner to add a new group. You can then name your group and select the devices which will be part of the new group. We will add node 1 and 2, keeping the third one ungrouped. Click on Add Group button at the bottom of the screen and you will see a new group automatically appear. Your BLE Mesh Network is now up and running. All nodes have joined the network and a group including two nodes was created. We can now use this network to control the lights, both individually and per group. To control the lights by group, and tap the Group 1 toggle switch. The two subscribe nodes will receive the message, turning on or off the LEDs. The video will now show you how to use the membership function within a group to control the lights on other BLE devices. Simply, click on the gear icon from a custom group then add node 1 and 2 to the list of publishers and save the new configuration. You can now press button 1 on the evaluation board to turn on or off the LEDs on other boards belonging to the same group.